The 2009 fieldwork team included me, the Field Museum's Ken Angelzik, Dr. Roger Smith from the Iziko South African Museum, University of Washington Associate Professor Dr. Christian Sidor, Dr. Sebastian Steyer from the Natural History Museum in Paris, Dr. Robin Watley from Columbia College in Chicago, Zambian geologist Adam Goulding, Kagosi Mwamaloe, an official from the Zambian National Heritage Conservation Commission, and Steve Tolan, a wildlife conservationist and amateur fossil enthusiast who lives and works in the Luangwa Basin. Our goals for the 2009 field season were to collect fossils and geological data from Permian and Triassic aged rocks in the Luangwa Basin. The last serious work in the basin was in 1974, so there's been plenty of time for erosion to expose new specimens. Because the fossil localities of interest are scattered over an area about 300 kilometers long, we adopted an exploratory approach, spending only a few days working at each locality so that we could visit as many different places as possible. Although this meant that we were not able to focus on any one place in detail, it allowed us to collect samples from several areas, making it possible to determine which areas would be best to examine in more detail on a future trip. The fossil localities yielded an excellent mix of specimens, and there was much more material than we could collect. We identified as many specimens as possible in the field and recorded contextual data such as GPS coordinates and information about the nature of the rocks in which the specimens were preserved. Within this framework, the material we collected tended to be very well-preserved specimens that will provide new insights, as well as specimens that may represent new species or new occurrences of previously known species. Despite these limitations, about 300 pounds of fossils were collected and divided among the researchers returning to the US, France, and South Africa for further preparation and research. Eventually, all of the specimens will be returned to Zambia, where they will form an important new component of that nation's natural history collections. However, we will make high-quality casts of all significant specimens for the research collections of the Field Museum. Although we are still in a very early stage of preparing and interpreting the fossils we collected, our preliminary results are very promising. For example, there is a good chance that we have discovered several new species, including new synapsids from the Permian and Triassic, new archaic amphibians from the Triassic, and new archosaurs from the Triassic. We have also collected a number of extremely well-preserved specimens of previously known animals that will provide new insight into their relationships, function, and ecology. Our fieldwork also provided important new insights into the Permo-Triassic transition. For instance, it appears that environments in Tanzania, Zambia, and South Africa all were relatively similar in the Permian, and underwent similar changes in the Triassic as the climate became warmer and drier. Permian animal communities in all three places were also generally quite similar. However, the picture of the effects of the extinction and the subsequent recovery process are more complex. The recovery process appears to have proceeded differently in Tanzania and South Africa, and at this point Zambia seems to show some similarities to each place. We'll need more fieldwork and more research to fully understand this critical period of time in Earth's history, but we made great progress this year.